Okay, so in this clip, we'd like to begin while exploring the various possibilities of rendering. But first, I would like to address you with a clip that I have made for this course. And here you can see that this is, you know, another piece of the file that I've created. This is, you know, totally done with the help of Fluid Solver. And the rendering process is done with the help of the Arnold. Regarding the Arnold, I just have to say that it is simply amazing, simply excellent, and simply, you know, you can say overwhelming. The result of the Arnold is completely exceptional. Previously, I was doing stuff with the Mendeley. I can feel the difference, you know, when I'm doing the same thing in the Arnold. An exceptional quality of reading the voxels while maintaining the sharpness of the voxels as well. By the sharpness, I just want to say that, you know, it takes care of all the, you know, details inside the fluids, which is really, really, you know, amazing thing. So the entire course is, you know, totally done with the help of the Arnold rendering engine. I really encourage all of you guys to go with the Arnold rendering engine process and it's absolutely amazing. So now I would like to close this clip and like to begin with the process of doing the rendering. And here is the file that I have got over here which is you know approximately having the resolutions of 150. You may could also increase that not a problem and after that you're gonna get a lot of you know rich details. But it's you know quite a good for you know for the illustration purpose or to at least to begin with and I highly encourage you guys you know to increase the resolutions once you you know you are done with the process of at least you know at at least you have crossed this stage now you are completely feel free to go ahead and you know experiment with your own values all right so to begin rendering so I first of all would like to talk about a rendering what exactly the rendering you know do means well if you like talk about the fluid rendering then I must have to say that you know the overall you may could say the end result into the form of an image is called as a render whether it's a single image or a sequence of the images so it is you can say the synthesis of the photo or you may could say the synthesis of your you know the the software the the elements which you're using inside the software inside the scene which are com which are then you know further compiled or you may could say processed and converted into the form of the 2d pixels it's called as a rendering here in front of me we do have the fire and we would like to begin rendering so first we would like to explore the concepts of rendering inside the Maya 2017 using the Arnold so for that you need to go inside over here that is the the render settings alright and in the Arnold render you know the Arnold render here is you know taking all the important and essential values in particular speaking I would like to talk about the sampling the first thing is that you know the sampling so here we do have the camera double A that stand for the anti aliasing okay and this option is very very significant while taking out the fluid because you know we are not taking care of the diffuse glossy and the refraction over here because in our scene we are totally based upon the camera you know anti aliasing values because in this scene we are only you know rendering out the fluid so there is no sense of talking about the diffuse glossy or you know there is no even refractions so with the very default setting you know nothing I would just want to change I would like to take out a single render for you and you need to go over here and click the render so I do have got some you know previous frames for you so let me just gonna show you up and here you can see that such a horrible results because we are using completely you know minimal settings so it is quite expected that we need to get a lot of you can say the grains a lot of noise inside the rendering and it's absolutely you know lowest quality based output so what do we need to do in that case well there are various methods of fixing these you know things and I like to talk about primarily three important attributes that will going to change the way the fluids you know are looking right now so far so the first thing is the camera double A which is the anti-aliasing so I would like to you know change the value from 1 to the 2 okay and now if I would like to take the render you're gonna notice that at least some of the things will going to get fixed okay so let's just take the render of this thing alright we are back if I'm gonna compare that with the previous result there is a lot of change at least some noise is being getting you know reduced there's a kind of a blur also so we can also improve that thing a little bit more but I also would like to say that you know instead of increasing only the attribute of the camera double A will not gonna solve your purpose you need to look at some you know attributes also so for that I like to focus upon the filter here we have the type Gaussian but the width is you know little less so I'd like to increase it to let's say two or just would like to you know double that amount and now if I would like to take the render 
So now you can see that in comparison to the previous one, it has added more, you may could say, you know, better result. But still, I can read a lot of noise inside over here. So you can see that there is a lot of noise. So what do I need to do to, you know, completely get rid of this kind of a noise pattern? To fix that problem, what we could do here is that we can just select the fluid container. And in the bottom section, we do have, you know, this attribute that is called as the Arnold which is you know actually now say sampling the particular fluid and very interesting thing that is the step size so with the default we have the step size you know 0.1 or maybe 0 0.050 in this case I would like to reduce the step size now notice the changes what if I would like to go with point let's say 0 0.025 and now we'll take a render I also like to you know save this one all right we are back so now you can see that there is a lot of change. This was the previous quality and this is the new one. And notice one very important thing. The sampling has been still maintained. The previous sampling was the same and in this case also the one which we just created is also same. So in both the cases we are maintaining the same sampling quality. but there is a difference in the rendering. The previous one was showing a lot of noise and this one is having some noise but at least better than the previous one. And you can also notice one fact that you know in the previous result the rendering time was 4 seconds and in this case it is 13 seconds. So if you would like to you know dip down the value of the step size it will definitely going to increase the amount of the rendering but it will also going to assure you with the noise free or a jitter free results let's just take another render what if i would like to dip the size or you know decrease the step size to let's say 0 0.0010 okay now let me just take a pause over here because it will take a lot of time so i'll get back to you okay we are back and now you can see that it has you know really really control the noise now this was the first result absolutely low quality still improved still better and this one is the best now notice that in the first result it hardly took uh, it's showing the zero time but and that's not possible at least one second we are you know considering so in the next frame we do have the four seconds now we have 13 seconds and this one which we just got it's showing 30 seconds all right I also would like to draw your attention to one important thing and that is the sampling if you notice that in all the three frames you can say the first okay just leave this one because here the setting is one if you like to begin with this one where the sampling is two you may could say a lot of noise still over there with sample two again sample two again and sample two again all the three cases were showing the same sample but the rendering time was different and the quality is also different so the matter of fact is that we just cannot only rely upon the settings of the camera so the matter of the fact is that we could just not totally rely upon the values of the camera and de -aliasing. I mean yes definitely is very important we need to give the value of 2 in some cases we may could take it to the 3 also but the values inside over here under the fluid container shape node the Arnold, the step size is also very really, very important in removing all the jitters and the noise from the scene. Alright, so I would like to take a pause over here and would like to begin with the next clip talking more about the rendering process of the fire. So let's get started.